Tokyo, things haven't always gone to plan. They've revealed their toughest interviewee was none other than pop star Avril Lavigne. She's got quite a reputation for being a bit prickly. Uh, we all remember as well the infamous interview when things got a little awkward between Jess's hubby, Peter Overton, and Tom Cruise. Listen, here's the, here's the thing, Peter. Yeah. You're stepping over a line now. You're stepping over a line. We know you are. Well, I suppose the question's that people want to know. Peter, you want to know. Take and responsibility for what you want to know. Don't say what other people. This is a conversation that I'm having with you right you're now. You're right. Okay. So I'm just telling you right now. Okay. Just put your manners back in. Do you think I was out of luck? Yes, absolutely. Oh, well, I apologize for that. Okay. Sincerely. Okay. What a little. Do you know the, cra the crazy thing is, is that Peter Overton is the, the most divine, well mannered, yeah. beautiful man on the planet. What did he say after that, Jess? Well, he couldn't believe it. He he still can't watch that interview because really? he Can you not laugh about it now. Oh, I th I don't even know about so much laughing about it, but it had been he'd had to go and have a tour through Sci Scientology yes. Museum before he did the interview. That was the mm. condition of doing the interview. Yeah. Um, and he said, you know, when you got the world's number one movie star at the time fixing you with those eyes, yeah. and he was sort of thinking. Have I done something really wrong here? And the cameraman was the one who said, no, that is actually going to yes. be a classic 60 yes. Minutes interview. Because, and everyone yeah. was on Pete's side. Yes. Everyone was just like, how yeah. bonkers is yeah. this? Yeah. Well, it yeah. comes across as such a pompous pressure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Imagine enough. how his poor wives felt. Well, I, mean, I think, you know what, that was, you just started to get a glimpse yeah. of what was going on behind the scenes because his uh, long-term publicist had left him, his sister, who was also a Scientolo Scientologist, was managing him at the time, so there, it was sort of all starting mm. to yeah. unravel. At least he didn't jump on the couch. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Hey, Kel, have you ever had a really awkward interview? I've had, I've had plenty, probably, um, especially because for, for a number of years I was at a current affair. Oh. So, you know, I, 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 there were a few moments where I had to, I know, I had, I had to chase sometimes. I'm, I don't like that. But, oh, the um, walk in. Yeah, do the walk in. So you wait for someone and you, you know, you stake them out and then they come out of their house and you go, excuse me, did you, you know? <laughs> and then this guy just turned around and went, Bam! Hit you? No, no, because they never hit a girl. It's interesting. Well, sometimes they do, but they hit the they hit the cameraman. Yeah, it's all over the camera. And it was like, <laughs> I know. They got one for the team, and then of course that was a great promo. Yeah, the bosses oh. loved it. Do you guys remember when Julian Cleary was on? <laughs> <laughs> it's a jazz toast. Was, Can we have a vision of that? Oh, yeah. we a, you already had a very lavish commitment ceremony. Yeah, I never yeah. cupped myself. It's cups as well. <laughs> yes. Um, I've got, I've got a, a friend about my age who has a preference for younger men, and so he no, keeps bringing fine, up the part. latest young man who's but they're usually they're very pleasant. A bit of overlap we're going to show you now, but um, he. <laughs> Yeah, that was actually the good bit. Yeah, at about 40 minutes in, he goes, this is such a long show, when's it finished? <laughs> I cannot go now. But he left early. He left early. He left early. He left early. And I was, I was really devastated because I have been a huge fan of his for so many oh, years yeah. Yeah. and was so excited about meeting him and it was just sort of... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very it, was, it was one of those shows where I think the first five topics were all about various different types of murder. <laughs> <laughs> they were always they were all just <laughs> just really <laughs> bad news. And then, you know, breaking news, and other <laughs> yeah. ten people have just been killed. And then, so Julian... And he's an expert show. on murder, yeah. isn't he, Julian? And, uh, the show certainly died that day. But don't you <laughs> reckon, it, the, the bigger the star sometimes, I mean, the, mm. it, as someone who's been in the show biz for a really long time, they always, they've got a great work ethic, they, they know how to play the game, they know it's their job, you yeah. know, like the, the, the guy from Sound of Music that we had on that time, what's his name, I've got... Oh, um, Christopher the, Plummer? The, the one who play, no, not Christopher Plummer. It was played the old, the, old one kid. Of the, played one of the kids. Nicholas Hammond. Yes. Nicholas Hammond, there you, you know, go. Just played Spider-Man as well. Yeah, yeah you know, it's just people have been around the traps and they just know just mm. to, to be nice. Yes. Mm. Anyway.